Sanjay Dutt stepped out of the jail and I got a good reason to the bow some chicken Sanju Baba. If you're wondering what I'm talking about and to get all the Sanjay Dutt updates, you need to log on to thequin.com. No doctor was allowed to go near Rohit Vemula's body till 6.30 the next morning. That was Smriti Rani's dramatic statement in parliament yesterday. Well, it turns out he was found by security personnel at 7.20 in the evening and he was certified dead by medical officer M. Raj Shree at 7.30. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has pulled up police and the state government over reports of alleged rape in Murtal during the Jat agitations. It was alleged that women commuters were stopped on the national highway, dragged to a nearby field and raped. Haryana police, meanwhile, has denied the allegations. Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu went for a please all railway budget and stayed away from fare hikes as was expected before key state elections. But the real question is, can Prabhu address the constrained balance sheet of the Indian Railways without fare hikes? The Rajya Sabha saw bouts of laughter today with an elaborate discussion on nationalism. Congress leader Gulam Nabi Azad told the BJP that they don't lead a lecture on nationalism because it was apparently in their blood. Now that got him a stern reply from Arun Jaitley who told them that the Congress of all parties shouldn't side with terrorists because they after all lost two Prime Ministers Indira and Rajiv to terror. In an ugly incident that took place in Bangalore last night, a student who was travelling with her male friend in a bus was caught in a brawl with the conductor who locked her inside the bus opposite a police station. She went to file the FIR but the cops refused. After the incident was shared on social media, the cops asked her if she wanted to file the complaint. Read the full story on The Quint. This week we have Ali Ghar. Now everybody said it in Manoj Pajpai. I looked but couldn't find him. He is so good, he has become the character Professor Siras. Ali Ghar is much more than a film about homosexuality. It's an inspiring tale of one man's fight for dignity and for that it's a must watch. I've given it 4.5 quints. To know more, read and watch my reviews on The Quint. Over 7 crore Freedom 251 registrations and not a plant in sight. The details of ringing bells the company just gets murkier by the day. After earlier claiming they were going to make the phones in India, the company seems to have changed its stance and it's now saying they're going to import the phones instead. The Quint is following the story, you can read it all on our website and you can also download our app on Google and iOS.